Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the very luxurious five-star Scottish luxury resort hotel of Glen Eagles. See? Oh my gosh. It's really, really, really pretty. Sure, I've just found one of the funniest signs I've ever seen. Guys, watch out for children awkward driving because they're children and they're driving. So, probably a good warning sign. Thank you. Come on, you. This is little hay mesh. Yeah. And you can see they're lovely. They don't want to hurt you, they're not big vicious animals. Mm. Um, Falconry is all about hunting. That's how it started 4,000 years ago. Yeah. Easiest way to know if your bird is a hunting bird, you look at its feet. Mm. If it has quite big feet for the size of the bird, you know it uses them for hunting, for catching things. If he was to have little feet, little talons and a big beak, then he's a scavenger, relies on his beak more than his feet. Mm. So because he's a hunter, he'll never use his beak out of anger. I'll never ever peck you, never peck your eyes. Yeah. Great friend. Okay, so she'll jump to you. Yeah. And then open your fingers now. Yeah. And then these jesses, these leather straps go under your thumb, out through yeah. the fingers. Yeah. That's it, and you make a fist. Nice and tight, normal walking speed. Perfect. See, you can bring your arm around here slightly. Yeah. So keep your face from where you want her to go. Yeah. And when you're ready, give it a push forward and open your finger. Okay. And your glove comes over here. So this just keep her wing away from your face. That's it exactly. And she comes back for a little bit of beat. Tug it and pull it, teach it how you hold on like a hell. Yeah. Now we said Falcon is all about using these birds to provide us with food. So we need to get her off that rabbit. We cover her kill, and then bribe her off. Your bunny goes in the bag. This is the only time you will give her food to come off the ground when she's yeah. just caught something, yeah? yeah? She's amazing. <laughs> you are a good sport. I am embarrassing you. Wow, she is so well trained. Teddy. Teddy. You get him. Good ghetto. Rich and rounded. This I would say is sort of floral with a touch of smoke. And this is just smoke, really. So as you make a blend and then just add a tiny amount of this at the end, which is bad, and it brings out other flavours. It's the uh, first distillery they ever bought. Uh, it's a big component of the Johnny Walker Blue. Yeah. Again, it's, 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 it's a really rich whiskey, so if you, if you like quite flavoursome whiskey, then you, you might want to add some of that to your blend. Okay, so I definitely want to do some of the Singleton. And then this one was, okay, this was light, uh, and fruity. Yeah, I'll do fruit. those too. That you go just over 100, so that then you can try it and then bottle it afterwards. Oh, so okay. just add whatever you like. Oh no! Oh no, guys! Oh no! I might have poured too much. Yeah, 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 oh. yeah. <laughs> that 
That's trusting my hand to make a good seal. I think it smells good. <laughs> You're happy with that? It's definitely still whiskey. <laughs> 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 I don't know, magical whiskey? <laughs> Because Matt here is a expert travel blogger. Budget and backpacking. 